at Chick-fil-A to pick up some chicken. A chicken. A live chicken. chicken and it's cold outside and we don't have a coop so now we're walking out and deciding where we want to put the coop and kind of cleaning that area up a little bit it's okay wipe them off so this whole area is going to be fenced in as you've seen from the previous videos but I think I want to keep the chickens back here. Um, maybe from here to here. Patrick's gonna build us a nice. So a girl at my work had a son and they let him come home with this chick from high school without any kind of consent from a parent. So they had this little terrarium for an old lizard or something that they had. I can't remember what she told me. And that's what they had been keeping the chicken in. And she was tired of the chicken being in her house because as you know, chickens make noise. Thanks baby. A lot of noise and they are very messy. So we have this one single chick next week. We're gonna try to find two more chicks. Um, I believe it's a barred rock chick. I'm not 100% certain, but that's what I believe. And we think it actually might be a rooster. So we're gonna want two hens so we can get some eggs. So because it is so small right now and it's really cold outside, we've got this heater and she's in a glass box. He, she, um, that doesn't look like it's very promising but um stay in here Keep another it. idea that I have is maybe getting an old dog crate and propping it open outside and taking the bottom out of it so that she can be on the ground he she I'm really hoping it's a girl so I say she so that we can slide the bottom out and she can peck around in the yard a little bit while we're out. Now it is November here. It's normally not this cold in November. Um, I think we're just kind of going through a little chilly spurt. It feels like it's January outside right now. Um, but hopefully we can get her some friends and a coop built. So stay tuned. And we'll be going to Triton Supply for of course a correct food and water but if you have chickens and you're familiar with chickens help me out is this a hen or a rooster or excuse me a pullet or a cockerel and do you believe it's a barred rock so we've raked and cleaned out this area from these two poles, my tomato steaks, to those two is eight by 20 feet. That'll be enough for our chickens. It's still close enough to Patrick's building where we can run electricity out here. So that'll be nice if we need some. Now, to take all of this stuff to the dump that we've cleaned from various parts of the yard. Oh, a spider. Get him. Yeah. Thanks for pooping for the camera. Yeah. We 
we got to get you some other friends so you don't think that we're your flock. So we put her back in, or we put her in a dog crate now. We're going to stick this stick through so she may, maybe can roost up on it if she would like. Um, she can have the ground to peck at and forage for bugs or whatever while the dogs are able to go in the back. And we know no hawks or anything can get her out of there. So this will do for now.